Yotpo SMS and Email Marketing Shopify App Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up your Yotpo SMS and Email Marketing App into your Shopify store. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Shopify.com sign in into your account and as you can see here we have our admin dashboard so once you have here set everything you are going to search for the app of yatpo so we are going to put or type in yatpo then we are going to search for it into the shopify app store so here we are going to see the shopify app store we're going to wait for the loading of the screen. So when you type in Yotpo and search on the App Store, you're going to see here a lot of Yotpo's app. We have product reviews and UGC, subscriptions, email, marketing, and SMS, and loyalty and rewards program. So we are going only to choose here the email marketing and SMS. So once we are here, we are going simply to click on install. So here we have uh, selected the app. We're going to install it right away. And here we have the choice to put it right away. So we are going to install this app. Then we are going to grant the permission to make it work into our store. So once you are going to see the app on the app section, you need to uh, pin it into the navigation because we don't want to lose it after we are going to add a lot of apps so we are going to wait for it it is taking a little bit of time so here we have the app installed we are going to pin it as we have said before now we have the dashboard so we are going simply to click on get started once you are here on the get started it will take you to sign up into an account so we are going to create an account right there. So then we are going to create a password. So let's go ahead and create a password, for example, like that. And then we are going to click on create. So here we have the SMS bump, as you can read. Now, normally we are going to see here a dashboard and that specific dashboard is going to be here, the control panel or the control center that we are going to set up our email or SMS campaigns. For example, here, which or choose which channels you want to set up. Here we have uh, SMS only or email only. I'm not going to make this. And we have also the email and SMS together. So we are going to program here email and SMS, for example, or I am going with the email only. So. I'm going to set up one of these steps. So let's go ahead with both. I'm going to click on next. Here, the company email is going to be the same email that your uh, store of Shopify contains or opened with. So a little disclaimer, guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses accounts are created for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. So make sure to use your own email address and your own information. So for the industry, we are going to select maybe clothing since I like clothing so much. So maybe you are going to see here if we have clothing, fashion, accessories. For the phone number, we are going to put here, for example, 555-555-512 like this. So the company name we are going to put here, Jack's Store then jack store like that then we are going to click on next so once you have made the uh, welcome to yapo sms and email step you're going to be here or to the automated marketing you can here enable or disable whatever automation that you want so here we have basically three automations we have abandoned checkout flow this is a very very um uh, well known for the or, or the majority of stores for the abandoned checkout flow if someone add a item uh, or a, a lot of items to the 
checkout or the um uh, buying page then they forgot about it or they leave it abandoned you can go ahead and uh send here email sms containing discounts or is for inciting people to get back to their checkout and complete the uh, buying process so we have post purchase upsell flow here is go is going to be a step for promoting more products or for example to promote a um, separately sold products like maybe you are going to add a, or you have sold a jacket and you are going to promote a jean that is going to be um, let's say here as stylish uh, as the jacket is and for the customer win back flow you're going to uh, bring the inactive customers for example for those who doesn't or didn't visit your store um, in a while so you are going to incite them to visit your store um, you are going to convince them that you have a lot of uh, new products it happens to me all the time for example if I, I like a store and I follow the um, the arrival or the new arrival of, of them and from time to time I get some distraction about my work and everything so when I receive an email I will remember that specific store and I will remember that it had uh, a lot of uh, very very good and unique things or clothings for example shoes and etc that you will not find them somewhere else so that email is a very very uh, specific and also efficient so you can go ahead and enable or disable those then we are going to click on next the next step is to collect the subscribers so you are going to collect the sms and email subscribers by uh, creating right there a sign up form or a sign up email or with, which is this a pop-up so you can go ahead and uh, choose the uh, color or the button color like that for example let's go ahead and make it choose something clear like this of course for the button label it is white let it white for the heading body text so for the heading here text color we are going to put it here for example the same color as the button like that this is more uh, attractive the body text color you can go ahead and put uh, this body text to uh, something bluish so we are going to make it a little bit bluish like that boom the background color you can go ahead and let it white it is not very recommended to change it you can add also a 10% discount here uh, as an invitation um, here to it. This form has two steps, which is the first step here. And the second step is to subscribe for the SMS marketing. So I will go ahead and maybe I am going to click on publish the pop-up. Or you can here report it for later or schedule it for later. So once here you are going to wait for the uh, form or to be set. As you can see here, we have a text message. So you are going, or the platform is going to send messages like that. This is the welcome message. You can go ahead and, and send those, get a test message, text hello to this phone number, limited to US number only, obviously. You can go ahead and um, send the uh, right there the uh, sample but I'm going to click on finish then we I think we have set up the first campaign of automation and also uh, email and SMS uh, right there so here we have it change your quiet hours you can change the quiet hours right there but I'm not going to change those so here we have created the first pop-up to collect emails and SMS numbers of course so here your toll free number here has not been verified you need to check out the verification status then you're going to be uh, eligible to uh, make the uh, calls or the SMS marketing so here we have set up the first uh, first step to uh, finish the setting up which is the creating of pop-up the second step is to enable the checkout collection we are going to enable that so you are going to enable the SMS marketing, open Shopify setting and locate marketing, your option enable SMS and click save. 
So this is for the SMS marketing. You are going to make that uh, as a SMS. And finally, we have the create a social opt in. So we are going to click on create. And here it is relied or um, linked to the promotion of the SMS opt in on your favorite social channels. So maybe you can go ahead and do that. We're going to uh, enter a social app name. Then we are going to set up the destination link uh, here list or uh, destination uh, or the marketing list. Yes. So we are going to put that away. So I'm going to skip those and make them as set. So we are going to see here that we have finished everything. Now, here we have at the left side, we have the balance and we have our plan. If you are not satisfied with the free plan and you see yourself limited, you're going to click on upgrade. Then you are going to uh, select and subscribe to a more a premium plan. So for the balance, you can go ahead and add a balance and make some campaigns out of it. For example, here, when you are going to click on campaigns, you can create a campaign right there. And this campaign should be, for example, multi-message, email, or SMS. I'm going to click on email since I don't use usually the SMS marketing. So here we have it. You're going to select the audience. I'm going to select all subscribers. And those subscribers are going to be either imported or uh, right there collected. And also, you can go ahead and create them. So we are going to uh, go to the audience subscribers and customers and etc here are going to see here uh, the subscriber burst collection tools list and segment you can go ahead and click on create audience then you are going to build them manually so for example i'm going to click on create then you are going to add those uh, this audience for example and after you have set up the audience, obviously you are going to create a campaign with this audience. So right there we have everything set. As you can see here, we have the email preview of the campaign. You can go ahead and select the audience, send to all subscribers, of course. Don't send to, you can exclude some members. And here we have the sender email or details. You are going to put the name of your store, for example, Jack's store. And the sender email, you are going to add a sender email. This is a, a notorious step to do, or it is a mandatory step to do. Uh, here you can add a reply to email, which is optional, or let your email as it is to be um, replayed to or replayed to. Here we have the email subject, which is the subject line. You can go ahead, for example, and set up here newsletter. And for the preview text, you are going to put it here the same. So here, I think that it is resembling MailChimp because MailChimp is the same principle and the same steps that uh, is in this platform. Here we have uh, on MailChimp, we can also do an SMS and email marketing, some automations and flows. And as you can see, you can schedule it and also uh, send it right there. You can add a discount code, for example. You're going to add a, a percentage and etc. So for here, I think we have made everything about the email. I'm going to maybe click on change the template. Here we can change the template. And also, you can edit that template by opening the editor. So this is very, very close to the MailChimp. So here we are going to open up the email uh, or the email editor. Yes, I'm going to wait for the loaded content. So as you can see, we have here a drag and drop uh, menu or block uh, editor. As you can see, you are going only to select one of these blocks. You have also structures. We have a library or content from the library. We have some stock content. And we have the appearances modification. You can edit the appearances and etc. You have the stripes, the headings, the buttons, and etc. As you can see, we can also program the content of it by adding, for example, an image block right there. Let's go ahead and drop it here. Here we have it. This is the image block. You're going to add, for example, an image right away here, and it will be uh, loaded right away. 
you can add a link to it for example you can add some buttons and etc so that was very easy and very simple for the platform thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one